Hey everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. Welcome to this Key Productive YouTube channel if you are brand new. And if you're a regular, welcome back. So today's video is going to be me talking about my goals and re resolutions, resolution, yeah, resolutions of 2018. What I want to do with you guys is share what mine are, and I would love to hear what yours are in the comments below. So feel free to get engaged with this one. If you want to share them, feel free to pop them in the comments below. Um, I'd love to hear what your goals are. Hopefully this video might add some additional value to you if you're planning your sort of goals for the year. I personally have tons of in my watch later in YouTube of my of other people's 2018 goals mainly because I want to see what the sort of like ball pit is what everyone else is sort of aiming towards because it tends to help me towards planning my goals now I don't actually send to tend to set like 2018 goals I tend to set like three monthly goals so that I can sort of work towards them but I do think it is a healthy time of year to plan out any goals that you do have. And if you're going to plan one, then you can definitely do it today or tomorrow. But of course, uh, 2018, the new figure is a useful way to start. So I've done two videos on this so far. Um, I'm putting up one that I've done with Trello. So long-term planning with Trello and the second one called long-term planning tools, which will hopefully be useful to you, especially when you're goal setting and putting those figures down. So uh, 2017 as a year in review was actually a really good year. Um, I believe I hit most of my goals. Um, ones that I set at the start of the year that I thought, I ain't, I ain't able to do that, but I set them as sort of long goals. And I was actually not far from a lot of them. So for example, uh, with this YouTube channel, I set like 20K, I think subscribers or something like that. And I hit like 18, which was not bad. Um, especially where I was, I was at like 4,000 at the time. So actually having um, sort of a generalized goal for 2018 was quite nice. But one thing I tend to start with um, is a theme. Last year's theme was grow. Um, so it was to expand what I had. The year before was to, I think it was more to learn. Uh, so that was 2016, 2017 was grow. And this year I've actually have two themes, which is smart, and uh, and scale. Uh, so obviously, grow sounds a bit like scale, but scale. What I mean by it is keep the uh, quality higher, so that I don't have to do too much workload. So hopefully this year the videos are going to be a bit better, and smart is going to be doing something a little bit smarter. Um, I was only talking to Alice, who is in in our community. If you haven't yet met Alice leave a comment for her in the description below. She's awesome. Uh, she wrote on her blog, um, The Geeky Burrow, if you want to check it out, pop it in the description below. Um, she wrote on her blog all about how she is setting, I believe it's slow as a 2018 theme. And for those who don't know themes, themes can be really valuable. And what do we mean by themes? is uh, it's not something that we've created, it's more something that has been out there for a very long time. But themes are a way to set a general compass for the year. And what I mean by that is me last year was grow. So most of my efforts, most of my conversations, most of my actions all uh, were mapped to that. So for example, if Alice's one is slow, then most of her, uh, her workload will be reduced or maybe most of her uh, self-care time will be slow. Uh, she'll focus on much different things because the theme is different and having a theme can be a great way to set stuff for your year so if you haven't yet got a theme you should definitely consider one um, I've had a theme probably since 2016 mainly because I didn't work out what it was before um, I didn't really understand it. I had heard of it but it can be a great way to really set yourself straight. Uh, onto the sort of goals side of stuff. Uh, my goals for the year, I number one would be on this channel to reach 50,000 subscribers. I believe this is a bit big target because we're on 18 now, but I feel like it's a good target to have. I feel like getting the word out of all these tools, apps and resources and hitting 50,000 would be an amazing achievement. And uh, of course, for the community, it'd be amazing because you'd have like four times the amount of people to communicate with. 
So that would be really great. Uh, my second goal of 2018 would be to continue uh, freelancing. I really enjoy freelancing, working remotely. So hopefully I'm able to continue that sort of theme in myself is to keep uh, being able to scale to uh, work to that level. Uh, and hopefully that would be possible when we hit December of this year. Um, my third one would be to release five courses uh, or classes. And what I mean by that is to help you guys formalize the learning. Like I put up loads of tutorials here on YouTube, which are really handy. But I think courses sometimes formalize it and make it a bit more strategic for you guys to go away and learn. So that's definitely going to be one of the missions uh, that I put in. Uh, number four is to launch my new podcast, which I'm so close to launching on. It's so close. It's called Tools They Use. Um, it's a podcast all about tools that they use. That sounds really obvious. Tools that they use. Basically, um, it's a way for you guys to learn about the apps and resources that successful people use on a regular basis. And the reason why I'm doing this is because this is a gap in the market. Um, of course, you get to hear the resources when you hear long interviews, but sometimes if you're waiting for those golden gems, it's so hard to find. Personally, I find it such a struggle. I love hearing productivity app advice and resources, and of course, we'll cover micro sessions of that, but I just sometimes want to cut to the tools, go away with them, learn them, and get involved with them. Of course, it's counterproductive in some sense, but I think it's the right thing to do. I think that capturing all of that great stuff from successful people around the world will be so cool. So do stay tuned for that, tools they use. I'll add some information in the description below so you can get early access if you need, if you want to, because I'd love to have you there. Number five would be to hire uh, my first, not maybe full time, I don't know, staff member um, to help uh, with my freelancing work. I think that would be, a, that's one of the things that I, I, I need um, to scale and smart in my theme to keep that going. I think that's gonna be one of my 2018 goals. Resolutions, I think that sometimes I like to separate goals and resolutions. Goals are more like definitive. Resolutions are more moralistic, I think. That's, I, I don't know my opinion. Uh, I've got sort of two resolutions. Uh, my first resolution is to communicate better with my friends and family. Um, I really suck at text and I have done for quite a while, uh, mainly because what I do with my notifications on my phone, it's a really bad habit, is turn all of the notifications off. So it's a hideous habit to have. It saves me tons of time with productivity, but it just means that I'm chasing communicating with people. So I'm gonna do my very best to catch up with friends and family on a daily or weekly basis. So that's going to be one of my resolutions. And number two is, I guess, take myself more seriously with my tool set. Um, I think it was last like October, or, or, um, it was last October, but more like August time, I had a switch in my head and it just went, you did really great in your first two years using minimal resources. I use a Chromebook at the time and I was like really minimizing my setup. But now I've invested, I've paid money for more advanced stuff because it comes into the collection of scaling things. And I take myself more seriously in the process. Not saying that I should go out and spend loads of money on different things, but I should warrant. <coughs> oh but more I should warrant the cost and make an investment into it, uh, mainly so that it can make uh, more potential and more growth as well. So this year I've also got two really, well hopefully really big milestones, uh, the second one being hopeful, uh, but in the first one, um, Jan June time, June 2nd, I will be getting married. Um, so that's going to be a really big milestone in my life. Uh, Becca and I uh, are decided to tie the knot, which is really nice. Um, and number two is we're looking for a, a house, which will be nice as well. So that would be a big milestone in the year. So they're the sort of two big milestones, one in the middle of the year and two at the end of the year, hopefully if we're able to secure a place, uh, which will be really big impact on sort of the direction of stuff. Uh, not canceling any of this, but more in the sense of uh, growing it and expanding it. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit about my 2018 uh, goals and resolutions. As I said, I don't tend to do this at all. Uh, these tend to be in the back of my head, already pre-planned in 
three months box, um, but I find it very useful. And you're probably wondering where I tend to store my goals. Uh, a balance between Trello, Notion, uh, and my micro actions are in Todoist. So they're all the tools I use for that. Anyway guys, I hope that you found all of the other videos useful. If you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscription button and the bell notification. It'd be great to have you in the community. If you're not Facebook, in the Facebook group yet, it'd be great to have you. So feel free to um, join the Facebook community. Uh, it'd be awesome to have you. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. We should have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.